The development of The Witcher 3 is by far one of the most ambitious projects we have ever done. And it continuously amazes me, like how we have managed to pull all of this off with just such a small team. I must give you something. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. If you think that playing The Witcher Wild Hunt is a memorable experience, imagine what making it meant for us. Tarring, flaying, and watering. A very positive aspect of working at CD Projekt Red is that your voice and your opinion, they really matter. In fact, everyone here is counting on it, on your own proactiveness in making this game better. There are countless examples of things that were added to the game thanks to suggestions in meetings or conversations in the corridor, even reading comments on internet forums. And of course, let's not forget that Gwent was born in a bathtub. Yeah. All of these people have been injecting their personal experiences into everything that they do. And it somehow shows, actually, in this creative art form. We've said this a million times, and I'll say it again. We're gamers, first of all, and we all like to be treated fairly. So it only makes sense that, as developers, we apply the same principle to everything we do here at CD Projekt Red. You buying the game, it actually is a very big deal for us. It allows us to keep doing what we do best, these big, vast role-playing games. So giving everyone a bunch of free DLC was an absolutely no-brainer. You invested in us, and we want to make sure that you feel like your money was well spent. Hearts of Stone Expansion Pack, which has just been released, this is not a normal DLC, this is something rather special. It took us a very long time to make, and it has an enormous amount of content. It does have a price tag, but we hope that once you see how big it is, you'll find it absolutely justified. Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Hearts of Stone, this expansion, is not an additional quest. It's not an additional monster hunt. It's not a series of additional mechanics. It's all those things in multiples and more. This expansion pack is going to bring new items, new gameplay mechanics, and even new monsters that will integrate seamlessly into the main game. But this expansion is all about the story, and what a story it is. Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. It's a full and I think fascinating and fun story, or series of stories, that rather nicely issue from and tie back into the main game. Geralt meets an immortal and gets a series of tasks that seem impossible at first, not least because they involve challenging combat and complex investigations. Gameplay that ties closely into the story. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. And we give you the tools to meet these challenges and fight a number of new beasts. You get added items and an all-new mechanic that lets you craft rune words and glyph words, both of which let you fine-tune Geralt, his gear, and abilities. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. And the action, as always, will be richly varied. You'll revel with a ghost at a wedding, yeah. seeing both Geralt and his spectral companion through a series of interesting situations that provide the kind of comic relief seldom before seen in the franchise. Whoa, whoa, hold! You need to go in wearing that. What else? You'll join in a daring heist Handling everything from the planning, through putting together the crew, to negotiating your way out of a bind if things go sour. Please, don't do this to me! And you'll romance someone kind of new, if you so choose. Shani. Geralt? In something of a tip of a hat to those gamers who have been with the Witcher franchise since its inception. During production of The Witcher Wild Hunt, we estimated that players could easily spend over 100 hours in this game. And that actually turned out to be a very accurate prediction. For the Hearts of Stone expansion pack, we estimate that it will take you 10 hours, maybe more. And that is a lot of content. If you haven't bought this game yet, I honestly believe that you should ask your friends about it, because no other person out there could describe this roller coaster ride that you're in for. 
Oh, and one more thing, guys. Like, we are still supporting the main game, so if you have any feedback whatsoever, please just go to our social channels, and we would absolutely love to hear from you.